your mission, if you choose to accept, is to go where no moke has gone before. Welcome to Business Analysis 101, powered by Iversity. My name is Mike Boyle, and I'll be your lector for the next seven weeks. And I understand to make this decision, whether you're up for the mission or not, requires additional information. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and put together three questions that hopefully will help you in making that informed decision. So let's go ahead and get started with question number one. And that would be, are you qualified to go ahead and partake in this journey? And the answer is yes. And you might wonder, well, how was I able to come to that conclusion so quickly? Well, it's pretty easy, actually, because there's no re prerequisites for this course. That being said, I tend to think that you've been performing some sort of business analysis activities and didn't even realize it. Let me give you some examples. If you've ever had to go ahead and compile information from disparate sources and come to some sort of conclusion, well, that's a BA activity. Or perhaps you've been required to go ahead and perform some sort of problem solving in the enterprise. Well, that's a business analysis task. Perhaps coming up with some sort of need assessment or understanding what the needs are of various stakeholders. Well, that is one of the basic tenets of business analysis. Or any type of interpersonal skills. These are elements to be found within business analysis. And so, look, you've already, already been acting as a business analysis and you didn't even realize it. And so, congratulations. Question number one, are you qualified? Answer is yes. That doesn't answer the question of whether this course was worth your while. And I will certainly uh, do my utmost to make sure that the course is informative and hopefully a little bit entertaining. Uh, but let me go ahead and describe to you the various steps that we'll be taking on this journey over the next seven weeks. In the week number one, we'll concern, our, we'll concern ourselves with what is business analysis? What is a business analyst? What are the traits or the skill sets required of a business analyst? In which sectors do we find business analysis? And all things tied to what business analysis is about on a very general level so that after week number one you will have a better understanding of what the subject is about and what this domain business analysis is about. Okay. Week number two we'll go ahead and concern ourselves with processes, process analysis. So we'll go ahead and look and see what is a process, the importance of document, documenting processes understanding why we need to go ahead and document existing processes to go ahead and perform that business transformation or any type of transformation. When we talk about transformation, we're looking at comparing the current state, where we are today, to a future state, where we're trying to go ahead and make that transformation. And so we need to have proper documentation of what the current state is to come up with that roadmap for the future state. Um, in addition, we'll be looking at process modeling and process diagramming. So that'll be week number two, process analysis. Week number three concerns requirements gathering. And we'll be, uh, first of all, stopping and, and looking at what I consider to be a bit of a funny word called elicitation, which actually means bringing forth. And it's the, the process by which we go ahead and gather requirements. And we'll be looking at the various tools and techniques that we have within our toolbox. We'll be comparing the various tools and techniques, uh, looking at the pros and cons, and looking at various trends tied to requirements gathering. So that'd be week number three, requirements gathering. So we've gone ahead and defined our processes. We've defined the need. We feel that we have enough information to move forward. Now we start looking at solutions. And so week number four will be solution statement. What a solution is, what's the difference between a solution and a problem statement. Inevitably, there are various ways to go ahead and solve an issue. And so we'll look at the actual evaluation of multiple solutions and then actual selection process and how we come to what we consider to be the best solution. So that will be week number four, solution statement. Uh, so we've, we've gone ahead and performed the processes. We have the requirements taken care of. We've come up with our solution. Now we need to go ahead and look and see what that actual quality is that we need to adhere to. And so that would be quality management. What is quality? How do we go ahead and measure quality? And most importantly, what is the relationship between quality management and BA activities? And so that will be week number five, quality management. Week number six takes us into the realm of system thinking 
and estimation. And we'll go ahead and perform much more of a deep dive into the subject prediction and probability with the differences, although it sounds quite apparent. Uh, these are two words that get confused quite often. Uh, the importance of scenarios, understanding scenarios, what are the possible scenarios that can take place, estimations, and the interrelationship between all these elements. So that will be week number six. And then our finale will be document analysis. That will be week number seven. We'll be looking at procedures, business rules, uh, enterprise environmental factors, and organizational process assets. And so this will be our finale, uh, closing up our quest. And I hope that that sounded as if something you would be worth partake partaking in. And now I come to the last question, and that would be, what's required of you? And that one's relatively easy to answer. Um, you don't get off as easy as you did with question number one, but okay, fine. Uh, we will have multiple choice questions that will be posted during the various units every week. And so you will be required to go ahead and answer those multiple choice questions. In addition to that, we will have two examinations, one after week number three, which will be a written examination peer review, and it will be roughly 500 words that you will need to go ahead and put together. And then at the end of the course, we have what's considered to be our final exam. This will be 1,500 words, also peer review, and that will be the close of the course. And so I, I hope that you were able to go ahead and have a better idea of what this quest looks like. And we had our three questions. I, I hope that information helped you in making that decision. And uh, with that, I look forward to joining you in the next unit, and thank you very much for attending. Bye-bye.